always wanted to be a surfer. And I jumped in the water, bro, and it changed my life. Like, it was undeniable the best decision I ever made. Early morning off the crying, keep the weed blowing. Don't see opponents, all I need is the peace. Research what I speak, you can do it, it's free. Focus on your needs, cause your wants is a tease. When you lost I'm Calvin Love, musician, father, cyclist, and surfer. I'm surfing till the sun goes down, and when it comes up, I'm living it up. Unlimited love is what I My birth name is Corday Bradis. Yeah, basically, my dad is Snoop Dogg. My dad, he wanted to play football so bad, and he didn't get the chance, or he didn't get the chance to go to the next level. So he pushed it on us so hard that when I was about, I want to say seven or eight years old, my dad got me into football. It basically made me the man that I am today. Like the way I view stuff that's hard, the way I view stuff that's challenging, I know once I get past that hard part, I'll enjoy it. In high school, my last year, I wasn't eligible because I went to different school. I didn't play football that year. Found out about marijuana. Did that all day with the homies. All day, every day, just smoked out. And we would just listen to our favorite songs. And sometimes at the end of a song, there would be an instrumental playing. And we would rap over it. And we just freestyle, freestyle. And I remember one day my cousin or my uncle was like, hey bro, all you need is a garage band and you can record. And my mind was blown. I thought I needed a studio time. I thought I needed to pay a producer. I, did, I thought I needed an engineer. Like everything that my dad had, I thought I needed that. No, all you need is a MacBook Pro. Still the we had made a couple songs and then we made this one song. It was called Hippie Era. And we was like, we should go play it for my dad. We just and we played it for him. Cause we bound to get hot. You niggas pussy. Living nine lives. Better we all looking around like, yeah, this, he gonna like this. We pause it. He said, this shit is garbage. <laughs> he said, what? What the fuck are y'all doing? This shit is trash. And we all started laughing because we was like, damn. He, I, I'm glad he told us the truth. He could have been like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he just said, nah, this shit is horrible. Trash, garbage. Don't ever play no shit for me again. And anytime we made music, he would just walk past the room like, oh, I don't want nothing to do with that. I don't want to hear that shit. Yeah, long story short, started cranking out songs every day, every year. And eventually, I got, uh, I got better. <laughs> At that time, I became a cyclist, and that was like my new identity. I would do 50 miles, 60 miles a day, and one of my homies that I rode the bikes with was actually from Venice. He was like, uh, when I get off work, you should jump in the water with me. I was like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, at the time, I had dreads. I didn't want to get them wet. Like, it was high maintenance. I'm like, nah, bro, I'm good. He would ask me every day. I remember one day I was going through a breakup and I was like, you know what? Let's do it. It changed my life. Here I go, far away. I'll keep running in this race. From my sin, from my shame. I'm renewed, I'm not the same. Love. I just love being out there. The best way I can describe the feeling, the flow, is like I'm in a studio and I'm listening to beats and I'm trying to figure out what to say. It's almost like I'm channeling something. I'm not even writing. It's almost like somebody, something, God, is just like this and I'm like, okay, that's, that makes sense, okay. And it's the same when I'm in the water. I'm just looking at the waves, trying to figure out what's going on. Once I stand up, I'm not even there anymore. I'm I'm one with the wave in a sense. And that's the same way I am with the music. I'm one with the beat. I'm one with the flow. I'm one with the It's just once you just become one with it, you just you just be. It meshes with my my lifestyle so much because everything I do is like free-spirited, free-hearted. Like you can just you can just feel the vibe. You can feel the energy. Everything I do is cool and I don't need the shrooms, I don't need the weed. As I kept going with music, I started putting music videos out and my dad is like, whoa. He called me, I put one music video, he called me, he said, hey son, 
This song is so dope. You are a dope MC. He's like, you sound like nobody. I could tell when you get in the car, you listen to reggae and you listen to your music. You don't sound like nobody on the radio. You don't sound like nobody on the internet. I was like, damn, I found my own lane. I found my own voice. I found, I found my own identity. I made a living being me. And if you can't see that, then I'm just simply above the Venice rivalry. is definitely unique and I'm glad to be a part of it, honestly. I just appreciate the love. I appreciate how the surfing culture has embraced me. Like Rick Massey, uh, Scott Anderson, Bago, a dope old school photographer from uh, the Z-Boy era. He's, he's just a, he's a living legend, he's an OG. And I feel like just me knowing him and being around him, I was around J Boy and all, you know, all the old school people, because he has the same vibe. He's around, the, he's from the same generation. What Bagel did is, after he seen how much I love surfing, and I was like, hey bro, I don't know if I said I was going to Hawaii, or he was just like, hey, if you ever go to Hawaii, I wanna put you, I wanna put you in contact with my homie Simon, Simon Ebling. They had the whole Black Flies Hawaii stuff, sunglasses. And I was like, hell yeah. So I literally booked a flight that same week or the next week, met up with Simon. Simon was too busy, put me in contact with Edric. And Edric literally, Edric is the bagel of Hawaii. Like he knows everybody, he's connecting me with everybody. So I literally have two, two of the best people you should know in surfing and two of the best places. To surf. Spread love, that's the player way. And when I die, I energize. I'm like Gatorade. I shed so many tears through the years. I won't fade away. I'm moving to an island free of violence. That's the 808. I feel like I'm Poseidon. My mind and body vibing. My goal musically is to create timeless music. I don't make it to be seen. I don't make it to get a lot of views. I don't make it for the money. I make it because I know what's really good. I know what it means to me. So my daughter can be straight. I do it for one, one, and one of the sun, sun. Three times over, can't be sipping on soda. I just want to be like Bob Marley. Compare me to Jigger. I'm more like Wiz. I'm speaking for the kids. I'm my old soul. My aura is rose gold. It's all about the music. Give a fuck about the game. Why do they associate Bob Marley with weed? Like, he, he got some songs about it, but his real songs is empowerment. Just, just being a better person, saving people, saving the world, preaching one love. And the reason I bring that up is because I feel like Bob Marley's music is timeless. I feel like a thousand years from now, people are still gonna be listening to Bob Marley. Like I wanna make music that has no era, has no time. See, here we are now, that long journey of Cycling, jumping in the water, surfing. Venice is just, I don't know, I just, no matter what, I, I can just drive to Venice and I know I'm out. If it's no waves, I got people I'm gonna talk to. If it is waves, I got people I can talk to in the water. Like it's so much more than just surfing. I've been put, in, put with people with so much knowledge and information and so much love for the, the uh, I wouldn't even call it a sport, I just call it a lifestyle. It's too many people to name. Life's been good, you know? Yeah, I, I love Venice. Shout out to Venice.